Oops, forgot to mute it. Hola, primas. My name is Romane, and welcome to another f It's Friday on the Salazar Sisters channel. Alright, let's just dive right in. So this week's theme is about failures. Why are we talking about failures? A little similar to last week, we tried to keep you motivated in your resolutions from the beginning of this year because yes, we are still talking about resolutions. Really, it doesn't have any... Resolutions or not, we fail at things all the time. It's human nature. We're real people. And we just want to help you cope with the failure. Let's get started. So a lot of things people don't understand about failing is that it is necessary. It is. It sucks. Of course it does. Nobody likes to fail. But here's the thing. From my experience, you cannot grow without suffering. There's that Catholic school background kicking in on me. But you need failure in your life. You do. You need rejection. Shailene Woodley once said, or I read that she once said, that she likes to go to places where she knows she will hear the word no, so she can have that rejection in her life. I'll give you a great example. I myself have failed at many things in my life. One in particular recently that I did not fail, but I had failed before, is my permit exam. Ah, I don't know if you remember two videos ago, I mentioned that I finally got my permit. Why did I just get my permit? Because I failed the first mm, times that I went. Because why? I'm stupid. Regardless, I realize you gotta work hard, you need to study your butt off, and then great things happen. Last year, in fact, last spring semester, I did terrible, I didn't fail, but I did terrible in a class. The worst I've done in college, possibly my life. There is no way to describe how awful I felt, especially in college because you're paying for these classes and you need to do well. I felt as though I was wasting my parents' money, but all it did was motivate me more to do better the next semester. Well, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. It didn't at first. I really, really just wanted to be like, screw all this, I don't care. But you know what? You have to think big picture. So in terms of classes, if you don't wanna do something, you can't think about getting the work done to get the work done. You need to keep in mind the future. So what will I gain from this coursework? What will I gain from this class? What at least one thing can I take away by doing this assignment? What can I take away from here to make myself better? So in the future, I don't fail or I can avoid these mistakes. But it, I think in the, at the end of the day, while for me my cycle of failure usually tends to be I fail, I want nothing to do with whatever I failed with, I throw it aside, I bury it, I do not deal with the thing, then it explodes on me with emotions because I am an emotional person and I am forced to deal with it and I do and it motivates me to just if anything to relieve the pressure off me so with my permit I felt this like heavy ooh, on my shoulders because I live in a place where you need to drive if you want to get around also my friends all live forever miles away from me so I need to drive if I want to hang out with them. They would always be picking me up and I don't live in the center anymore. For example, even our hair. We wanted to make a hair dye video a while ago. The first time we dyed our hair pastel -y. And we didn't. Why? Oh wait, I didn't even film videos. You missed my pastel hair phase. But we didn't film videos because you know why? We did not know what the hell we were doing. One of our mottos is our hair dyeing experience is always an experiment. And I think when you go into something thinking that way it's an experiment or what can I gain to learn any small thing, it takes some pressure off. Of course, some things to fail are scarier than others. Anything that's exam is pretty scary. But big picture, you just gotta not let it hold you down. If your resolution was to get an internship and you didn't get one, you can't let that that failure of getting it that semester holds you down. You gotta keep your uh, spirits up and you gotta you gotta maybe backtrack a little and think what can I do to, to 
to make sure that I get one this time. Right. If you fail the test, okay, well what did I do that I shouldn't have done? What did I do that helped? How can I improve the way I study? So a lot of analyzing. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I feel like life is just a lot of analyzing. You have to analyze literally everything you do if you want to live a happy, successful, and helpful life. You gotta know the patterns of yourself, the patterns of everyone else. Life is a pattern. Alrighty, I think that's all I have to say about failure. The three quick tips to help you not fail. Ba -da -ba -ba. Gather yourself and research slash study. Two, make a game plan on how you are going to study, how you are going to go about doing the thing that you want to do. Three, do it. Above all, maintain a positive attitude because you can do it, you will do it. I literally said this to myself the night before my permit exam. <laughs> Geraldine actually texted me because she was freaked out because we were home alone and she was like, what are you saying? I'm like really scared. And I was like, sorry just doing some weird loud affirmations to myself, my bad. Get past it, and you got it. Again, even if the thing seems irrelevant to your life, just learn one thing. All right guys, that's the end of this video, I think, and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you found this rant tip style thing, talking words that I was doing helpful. Make sure to subscribe to our channel we put out new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, mostly, usually, I hope. Uh, like this video if you like it. If you are subscribed, make sure to tell your friends to subscribe because then you get a thumbs up. And I will see you next week. Bye! Oh, God. This is your Anne Scream, and welcome to my new routine of ending videos and sitting in formation. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna stop now. See you guys! Oh my god, I keep getting purple over my lips. Bye.